ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चम नरोतम दैवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीर नष्ट प्रायशु भाद्रशु नित्यम भागवता सेवया भागवतीतम श्लोके भक्ति नष्ट के Hi Krishna. So today we are reading from Shrimad Bhagavatam, Canto Six, Chapter Two, A Jamila Delivered by the Vishnu Dutas, Text Three. Prajana, Vitaraha, Ye, Cha, Sastaraha, Sadavaha. Samaha Yadi Shat Tesu Vaisamyam Kam Yanti Saranam Prajaha Prajanam Pitaro Yecha प्रजानाम पितरो ये चा शास्ता रहा सदा वह समहा शास्ता रहा सदा वह समाहा यदि शत्ते सुवै सम्यान यदि शत्ते सुवै सम्यान कम्यांते शरणम् प्रजहा कम्यांते शरणम् प्रजहा प्रजानम् पितरो ये चा सास्तरहा सदावहा समहा यदि शत्ते सुवे सम्या कम्यांति शरणम् प्रजहा प्रजानम् पितरो ये चा सास्तरा सदावह समाहा यदि शत्ते सुवे सम्या कम्यांति शरणम् प्रजहा सत्यसुवेसम्यम् कामयात्रिशरणं प्रजहा प्रजानं पितरोयेचा सस्तरा सदावह समहा Prajanam pitaro yecha Sastara sadavaha samaha 
यदीषु वै साम्यां कम्यांति शरणम प्रजा मातुजी प्रजान पितर ये यदीषु वै साम्यां गम्यंति जानाम पितर ये चास्तर सदावासम प्रजान ऑफ द सिटीजन्स पिता प्रोटेक्टर्स गोर्डियंस किंग और गवर्नमेंट सर्वेंट्स ये दे हु एन शास्तार गिव इंस्ट्रक्शंस कंसर्निंग लो एंड ऑर्डर Sadava and doubt we is all good qualities Samaha equal to everyone Yadi if Syat there is Tesu among them Vaisamyam partiality Kam what Yanti, you will go to Saranam, surrender. Prajaha, the citizens. This is translation. A king or governmental official should be so well qualified that he acts as a father, maintainer, and protector of the citizens because of affection and love. He should give the citizens good advice and instructions according to the standard scriptures, and should be equal to everyone. Yamaraj does this, for he is a supreme master of justice, and so do those who follow in his footstep. However, if such persons become polluted and exhibit partiality by punishing an innocent, blameless person. Where will the citizens go to take shelter for their maintenance and security? Please repeat. A king or governmental official should be so well qualified that he acts as a father, maintainer, and protector of the citizens because of affection and love. He should give the citizens. Good advice and instructions, according to the standard scriptures, and should be equal to everyone. Yamraj does this, for he is a supreme master of justice, and so do those who follow in his footstep. However, if such person become polluted. And exhibit partiality by punishing an innocent, blameless person. Where will a citizen go to take shelter for the maintenance and security? Purport by His Divine Grace is Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shri Le Prabhupada. Shri Prabhupada ki. The king, or in modern times, the government should act as a guardian of the citizens by teaching them the proper goal of life. The human form of life is specially meant for realization of one's self and one's relationship with the supreme personality of Godhead, because this cannot be realized in animal life. The duty of government, therefore, 
is to take charge of training all the citizens in such a way that by a gradual process they will be elevated to the spiritual platform and will realize this the self and his relationship with God. This principle was followed by kings like Maharaj Yudhishthir, Maharaj Parikshit, Lord Ramachandra, Maharaj Ambarish and Prahlad Maharaj. The leaders of the government must be very honest and religious because otherwise all the affairs of the state will suffer. Unfortunately, in the name of democracy, rogues and thieves are electing other rogues and thieves to the most important post in the government. Recently, this has been proven in America, where the president had to be condemned and dragged down from his post by the citizens. This is only one case, but there are many others because of the importance of the Krishna consciousness movement People should be Krishna conscious and should not vote for anyone who is not Krishna conscious. Then there will be actual peace and prosperity in the state. When the Vaishnava sees mismanagement in the government, he feels great compassion in his heart and try his best to purify the situation by spreading the Hare Krishna movement. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Shikshurun Miritam Jena Tasme Shri Guru Venamaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishnam Shtapitam Yena Bhutale Sriyam Rupa Kadhamayam Dadati Swapadantikam He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesa Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhi Vrindavaneshwari Brishabhana Sute Devi Pranamami Hare Priye Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namine Gorati Se Namaha Vancha Kalpa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhaivacha Paridhanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Rityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shiva Sadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna So this is the continuation of the uh, conversation between the Yamadudas and the Vishnu Dudas. Uh, court case is going on. <laughs> so, um, actually, Ajamil is also hearing this conversation and his heart is pounding. What's going to happen to me? Hell or heaven? <laughs> or oh, Vaikuntha? Uh, so, of course, Krishna explained in Bhagavad Gita <clears throat> Urdhvan Gachanti, those who are in the mood of goodness will go to the higher planets uh, and then Madhya uh, uh, Tishtanti those who are in the mode of passion will have to go to will have to stay on this earthly planet and Adoga Chanti Adoga Chanti means those who are in, the, uh, are in the modes of ignorance will have to go to the hellish planet so Jai Shri Krishna Valarama Ki Sri Shri Radha Sham Sundar Sri Shri Ki The question is raised by Parishit Maharaj in Srimad Bhagavatam after in, in Canto 5 after describing the helis, the different helis plan, planets 
what's the question, the question asked by Parikshit Maharaj, how the living entities can be saved from going to hellish planets. And that story, that story of Ajamila is told by um, Agastya Muni. Sukadeva Goswami heard it from Agastya Muni personally. Although he also heard it from his father. But he's heard that story from Agastya Muni who told st that story. And when Agastya Muni was telling that story, he said, I am speaking the truth. I am speaking the truth. I am speaking that truth. Then he started to relate that story. And when he was telling that, he was also at the same time touching the lotus feet of the Lord. Of course, his deities. You know? So he was saying, he said that, I'm telling the truth. That story is a true story. And <clears throat> because Parikshit Maharaj asked, different question to Sukadeva Goswami regarding atonement. Uh, so there are different atonements. But the real atonement, uh, Sukadeva Goswami explained that uh, real atonement is when one comes to Krishna consciousness, then one can actually atone from his sinful reaction. Sukadeva Goswami explained that um, the just like a bottle containing liquor, bottle containing liquor, cannot be purified at all. Even if we try to wash this bottle in different uh, lakes, rivers, sacred rivers, can be purified. And people who go for atonement will never be purified, even by the different processes. Even if one goes to, to the Ganges, even if one is not a devotee, will never get purified from his sinful reaction. Only those who are, Christ, who are devotees who goes to, to, the, to take bath in the Ganges can be purified. Mm. So this is explained by Sukadeva Goswami. So here in this purport, Prabhupada is explaining because this is the conversation going on between uh, the Vishnududas and the Yamadudas and Yamaraj here, Yamaraj he is the, uh, is, is, he described he is the master of justice. It is not that Yamaraj can make mistake. Of course, one, it happened one time. Uh, he uh, was this uh, Manduka Muni, who was, uh, uh, he thought that he was misjudged, you know, because he was caught by the police. And he was, the police caught him also because the thieves came to him to hide and the police caught him. And he had to, uh, he was punished. He was about to be punished. Then they found out this Manduka Muni is not a thief, so he's a, he's, a, he's a Muni. And he was released. But then at the end, Manduka Muni, he went to Yamrat, he said, why I was caught, I was arrested. And then Yamrat said, when you were a small boy, you were, you were poking the, the ants, then some kind of ants. And then Manduka Muni said, I was a small boy, I did not know, I was ignorant. So why you, you, you know, I was punished because of that. And then Yamaraj was cursed to become, to become, he became Vidura. Hmm? Actually Yamaraj is one of the Mahajan, 12 Mahajan. How does he know? How does he know the the, the activities of the living entities because he's not the Supreme Lord. He's not seated in everyone's heart. Who is seated in everyone's heart? The Lord. The Lord says, I am seated in everyone's heart. It's the Lord. But how does he know? Who to punish? Who is committing sinful activities? Because he said that the Lord is sitting, it's like uh, it's from Padma Puran. Uh, the soul and the super soul, like two birds sitting on a branch. One is enjoying, the other one is witnessing. Paramatma is witnessing. So that is Paramatma who is witnessing. So how does Yamaraj know about the different sinful activities of the living entities? 
So that is explained in Srimad Bhagavatam that uh, he, he receives the mercy of Paramatma. He is able to do this seva by the mercy of Paramatma. He is almost like Paramatma, but of course he is not Paramatma. By, by, by receiving the mercy of Paramatma, he is able to do this, this seva of avoiding and punishing the living entities. So Prabhupada is saying in the purport that if uh, it looks here that the Yamduta they don't know what is the law. You know, what is the real law? Because somebody who is innocent cannot be punished. What's going to happen to the citizens if innocent people are punished? Uh, and in this verse it is said, Prajanam Pitaro. Uh, the protectors. What, Prabhupada, Prabhupada gave one lecture on this verse. He said, the one uh, guru na sasyat, pita na sasyat, janani na sasyat. One who, he, one who is, um, one cannot become guru if he cannot deliver his dependents. Guru na sasyat, pita na sasyat. One should not become a father if he cannot deliver his dependents. One cannot become a mother if he cannot deliver his, his dependence. And one should not also become a demigod if he cannot deliver his servants. Demigod also is mentioned in Bhagavatam. So, <clears throat> and Prabhupada is explaining the purpose that nowadays we have governments, they have been voted uh, by the citizens, and now they are rogues uh, in the names of democratic Prabhupada is saying, unfortunately, in the name of democracy, rogues and thieves are electing other rogues and thieves to the most important post in the government. And then Sri Prabhupada at the end is saying that um, because of this importance of Krishna consciousness movement, People should be Krishna conscious and should not vote for anyone who is not Krishna conscious. So one should, we should not vote for those who are not Krishna conscious, as Prabhupada is saying. Then there will be actual peace and prosperity in the state. Uh, so then Prabhupada goes on saying, now have compassion, he's saying, when Vaishnava sees mismanagement in the government, he feels great compassion. And in his heart, and try his best to purify the situation by spreading the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna movement. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ram. So here, in that story, the story of Ajamil is proving the power of the chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Ajamil chanted the holy name in Namabhas. Do you not chant pure name, Namabhas, the second stage. By chanting the holy name, he actually achieved liberation in Namabhas. Uh, of course, the, 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 the goal of chanting the holy name is not to get rid of suffering. It's not also to achieve liberation. Although Ajamil achieved liberation, but because he chanted in, instead of Namabhas. And if one, of if one chant the holy name of, in an offensive state, it's explained in Harinam Chintamani, one will be awarded Dharma, Artha, and Kama. This is in the state of chanting, a, a, a offense, offensive chanting. One can be awarded Dharma, Artha, and Kama. But chanting the holy name in Namabhas, one can achieve liberation. The goal of chanting, one time Haridas Thakur, 
he was having some discussion with the brahmanas. He was invited to discuss about the glories of chanting the holy name. So the brahmanas they were saying that the goal of chanting the holy name is to mitigate suffering. Mitigation of suffering. Uh, and also to achieve liberation. So Haridas Thakur was listening. And Haridas Thakur said that he objected at the end. He said, this is not the goal of chanting the holy name. The goal of chanting the holy name is not to mitigate suffering. It's not to achieve liberation. The goal of chanting the holy name is to achieve love of Godhead. Uh, then he said that liberation can be achieved even by chanting in Namabhas. And then he related that story of Ajamil. He said Ajamil chanted the holy name in Namabhas and he got liberation, Vaikuntha liberation, because he chanted Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. Uh, and then Haridas Sagul gave the example. He said, just like the sun and the sunshine in the early morning, the, sh the sun is not risen yet, completely risen, but just by the sunshine, the sunshine is enough to dissipate the morning darkness. And thieves and rogues will, be, will disappear just by the rise, uh, the sunshine only. The sun is not completely rising. So he's comparing the sunshine to be like Nama, chanting in Nama Bhas. He's not speaking about the sun. He's speaking about the sunshine. So the sunshine is enough to dissipate darkness. So Nama Bhas is enough to dissipate or to uh, 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 alleviate our suffering. And of course this Namabhas is, is explained in Bhagavatam, chanting in Namabhas is the most, uh, the topmost pious activity, better than other pious activity. It's explained in Bhagavatam. Uh, it's almost there, almost uh, pure chanting to achieve love of Godhead. But if one continuously chanting the holy name, then one will achieve of pure chanting and achieve Krishna, uh, pure love of Godhead. But he said, <coughs> Haridas Thakur said by chanting, uh, 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 the, sun, the sun is compared to be ch pure chanting. When the sun is risen, it's compared to be like pure chanting. Uh, so when the sun, what speak of this when the sun is risen? And then it's explained by, the, by Haridas Thakur, that the sunrise, when the sunrise, the sun, the sunshine, dissipate dark, dissipating darkness, and this darkness doesn't appear again. Whole day doesn't come. So this chanting, uh, even chanting in Namabhas, can dissipate all suffering uh, and darkness. So what to speak of pure chanting? Uh, of course, in rare cases, in rare cases, uh, by uh, chanting the holy name, purely one can actually um, destroy the seed of sinful activities. That's explained by uh, Haridas Thakur. So, Namabhas, there are four stages, four types of Namabhas. One is called um, Sanket, Parihash, and then Stoba, and then Hela. Hela, yes. Sanket, like the, the way Harira, uh, Ajamil was chanting, that is, that is called Sanket. Uh, or the Yavanas also, they are chanting, um, they are calling Haram, Haram, Haram. That is Sanket, uh, Namabhas. So, um, 
in an intentional nam bas mean an intentional so uh, sanket is one and then you have parihas parihas means chanting the holy name jokingly like uh, um jarasandha jarasandha he was because he was taking the name of krishna but jokingly you know very jokingly he was talking about krishna so he also achieved liberation sanket parihas and then stoba stoba means the rising the riding the the lord the names of the lord and who did that um Sishupal, yeah, Sishupal, Sishupal did that one, uh, and then uh, yeah, Sishupal deriding the names of Krishna. He was cursing, he was so chanting in that way. And then Hela means uh, not paying any attention. Uh, that's the fourth one. The holy name is uh, Mahaprabhu explained Hari Nam Hari Nam, Eva Kevalam, Kolo Nasteva. Nasteva, Nasteva, Gatir Anyatha. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was chanting the holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. The, the Mayavadis, they asked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, You are a sannyasi, you are supposed to be uh, studying Vedanta, so why are you chanting the holy name? You are supposed to be studying Vedanta. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, my Guru Maharaj told me I am a fool. I cannot understand Vedanta. So he told me to chant the holy name. And then the Mayavadi said, Okay, you are chanting the holy name, but why are you dancing? Chanting is okay, but why are you dancing? Then he said, Yeah, when I'm chanting, then I went back to my spiritual master. I told my spiritual master, Gurudev, when I chant his holy name, which you have given to me, then I start to dance. I became mad. <laughs> uh, uh, because the Mahavadi was asking, why are you dancing like mad man? So I told my Gurudev, I'm chanting this name, this name, but I became mad. I'm becoming mad. I start to dance. And then Gurudev, my Gurudev told me, yes, my dear son, you have achieved the goal of chanting. This is the goal of chanting. When one chants the holy name, one becomes mad. And he quotes one verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. Roditi, Hashati, Nrityati, Prahlad Maharaj said, when one, when one chants the holy name, one become, one start to dance. Roditi, start to cry. Nrityati, start to dance. Hashati. Start to laugh. Kiba mantra dila Gurudev Gosai Kiba mantra dila Japite Japite Karila Pagal. Kiba mantra dila Gosai. Hey Gurudev, what kind of mantra you have given to me just by chanting uh, Japite Japite Karila Pagal? Pagal means madman. <laughs> you know, by chanting the holy name, I became mad. And Gurudev said, that's the result. By chanting the holy name, one becomes mad. Of course, mad after Krishna. In this world, everybody is mad. <laughs> no, people are mad after Maya. The devotees are mad after Krishna. Everybody is mad. Are they Krishna or Maya? Yes, people are mad. Sun gratification, enjoyment, sex life, drugs, you know, smokings. Uh, and nowadays they are keeping their hair, you know, different styles. How do you call that? Spikes. <laughs> and they are also wearing types of jeans that is having holes in it. <laughs> and I heard this is more expensive. <laughs> I don't wear that, of course. So madness, they also mad. And changing wife, clouds. Obstructing the, the vision, uh, the, the clear. Uh, sunshine. Uh, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started to explain. So he defeated Sarva Bhumadacharya in that way also. So much so that Sarva Bhumadacharya, he changed, he became a Vaishnava. Uh, he became such a great Vaishnava. 
And then he also started to chant the holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Uh, he became, because he was Sarabhuma Bhattacharya, he, for him, liberation is the highest goal. Achieving our liberation is the highest goal of life. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu defeated Sarabhuma Bhattacharya with that Atmarama verse. Uh, he means liberation is not the highest. The devotees, they don't want even liberation. Liberation offered even by the nine processes of bhakti. Avam moksham na moksham vadimba na cham vrineham varishada piya. Then? Idam teva purnata gopala balam sadame manasya virastam kimanye. I don't want any types of liberation. Even the liberation offered by the nine processes of bhakti. What does he want? He's saying, I want the form of bala gopal ever manifest, of bala gopal in Vrindavan ever manifest in my heart. So even these four types of liberation, the devotee doesn't want the four types of liberation. Even the liberation offered by the nine processes of bhakti. So Sarvabhamadacharya, he was thinking that liberation is the highest, but Mahaprabhu defeated Sarvabhamadacharya with the Atmarama verse, saying that even those who are liberated, they become attracted to serving the lotus feet of Krishna. So liberation is not the highest. What is the highest? Bhakti, devotion to the Lord, the lotus feet of the Lord. And Sarvabhumbhadachari, he changed completely, he became a Vaishnava. And so much so that one day he changed the verse, one, two words of the verse. Tate nukampam susamiksamano punja evatma itam vipakam Namaste Jive Yayeta Muktipade Sadaya Bhukt. Muktipade. This verse tells about Muktipade. Muktipade, he changed the word Mukti. He wrote Bhaktipade. You know, he changed the word Mukti. He doesn't like the word Mukti. Now he's a Vaishnava. <laughs> he said, Mukti, I don't like it. Mahaprabhu said, what do you have done? You have changed this word Mukti Pade into Bhakti Pade. This is wrong. You cannot change the words of the, of the Bhagavatam. And Sarva Bhavadajara said, I don't like this word Mukti. Since I've become Vaishnava, I hate this word Mukti. <laughs> the word Mukti comprised of, of, of envy. You know, I hate it. It's, it's uh, duplicitous or, or envy, lots of enviousness in the, in the word mukti. I don't like it. Then Chitta Mahaprabhu explained that this word mukti also means Krishna's lotus feet here, mukti pade. And it described that um, Bhagavatam praises mukti because one of the ten subject matter of Bhagavatam is one is, the tenth one is Mukti. And Krishna is called Mukunda. Mukunda means the giver of liberation. So Mahaprabhu is trying to explain that this word Mukti here is, is means Krishna. Krishna's lotus feet or Krishna Bhakti. And Sarva Bhavadacharya said, Yes, you may have your own interpretation, but I don't like this word. Uh, I don't like this word mukti at all. So, Sarvabhumadacharya was completely transformed. Now he's a Vaishnava. He is also chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. So, Prabhupada is saying by chanting the holy name, this world can change by spreading after compassion the holy name. Uh, there can be complete peace and prosperity in the world. So the holy name 
uh, Kulak Shekhar explained that nowadays people, they are, what is amazing? Like Yudhisthira Maharaj explained what is amazing. The most amazing thing is that people are dying every day, going to hell, but other people are aspired to live longer. But Kulak Shekhar said what is the most amazing in this world is people are giving up. They are giving up the life-giving nectar and drinking poison. They give up the life-giving nectar and drinking poison. What is a life-giving nectar? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So they are giving up life-giving nectar and they are drinking poison. Golokera Premadan Harinam Sankirtan. This is the greatest wealth coming from the spiritual world. And it's more powerful. It's very, very powerful. That's why this story is given to prove the power of chanting the holy name. So powerful that can liberate one and destroy all sinful activities. Uh, the holy name of Krishna <coughs> um, is even um, Gayatri, we chanting Gayatri. You know, Gayatri, when one chant Gayatri, the more one chant Gayatri, the silent, the, we have to chant the Gayatri very silently. The silently we chant, it is more effective. But the holy name, the more, the holy, the holy name is completely opposite. The louder we chant, the louder it is more effective. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. It's also explained that a few, a few things that one need to keep secret. Like for example, Gayatri, when one chant Gayatri, one should chant it secretly. Other things that one should keep secret, what, what are they? Like, for example, our seva. We don't go and tell everybody what we are doing. We keep it for ourselves. Donation we're giving to the temple, we don't make a big show. We keep it secret, you know? That's why we have a box here. <laughs> and what are the things? Our Gurudev also. You know, we don't make big, big propaganda. It should be Gupta, means secret. Seva, donation, what else? Guru, service, eh? Gayatri. Gayatri. That we should keep secret. And you know, we cannot uh, make big propaganda. And also our Istadev. Our Istadev. We should keep for ourselves. But the holy name is completely different. You can say it is both. The holy name can be open, given openly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. And we're keeping secret because we have, we're keeping it in the bead bag. <laughs> it is both. It is open, can be open, openly chanted. It is also secret because we are keeping it in the bead bag. That's, a, that's the, uh, the importance of chanting. And now, <clears throat> In our society, we are worshipping Radha Krishna. We are worshipping Radha Krishna in which mood we are, we are worshipping Radha Krishna? In the mood of Lakshmi Narayan. So Lakshmi Narayan, worshipping Lakshmi Narayan means what? Vaikuntha. When we worship Lakshmi Narayan, uh, in mood, uh, worshipping Radha Krishna in the mood of Lakshmi Narayan means? Destination is? Vaikuntha, not Goloka Dham. And following Sadhana Bhakti also means? Achieving uh, Vaikuntha, not Golokadam. So, how are the devotees going to achieve Golokadam? Huh? Chani Hare Krishna? Yes, in, in uh, ex a bit more explanation is required. <laughs> how do one achieve? Does one achieve Golokadam? Because worshipping worshiping Radha Krishna Nimun Nalblakshana 9 will achieve Vaikuntha. Yes? Spontaneous? How do we get there? Yeah, that's good. But the point is also Nama Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. 
by worshiping the Lord in in different ras like um, Sakya ras, Vatsalya and Madhurya, one will achieve Goloka Dham. But we're not doing that. We're serving in that in ser service. We're doing service. But then, how does one achieve? Because the holy name itself is Nam Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. So the holy name is the Vigraha of all the Rasas. The holy name itself is the embodiment, is the Murti, Nam Chintamani Krishna's Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha. So one is performing, is worshipping Radha Krishna, the devotee worship Radha Krishna Moon of Lakshmi Narayan, following the rules and regulation, regulated principle, serving the Lord, and plus chanting the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. So <clears throat> by uh, chanting, because the holy name is the murti of all the rasas, it's included in that. <clears throat> 